previously on Casters. Now, depending on who the guest is that week, we can range from up to 2,000 to 3,000 listeners a show. How do you expect people to find the podcast? The postcards are a really good idea. Reaching out to places we haven't is a really good idea. I know you wanted to go upstate next weekend for a little R&R, but I just can't do it. So you're switching to Fridays? Yeah. I came in to check my email and... What is this? This is why you didn't go to the show tonight? Why would she do that? Why, why would she cancel on us? She's a chick. She's nutty. You're a chick. You're not nutty. I'm pretty nutty. And she canceled by text? 20 minutes ago. That's professional. Cow, we're recording a podcast in your basement. There's not a lot about this operation that screams professional. I have a degree in engineering. That's professional. And you also consider Count Chocula one of the major food groups. Doesn't affect my ability to engineer this rodeo. Guys, we record in two days. We have no guest. We'll find someone. Who? I can call my buddy from that improv group. Oh, improv people make me twitchy with their always-on attitude. No, this guy's cool. More kids in the hall and less college improv group with some crap name like Giggles and Free Beer. Improvopolis. Brosephine Baker. Kathleen Turner Overdrive. Black Shirley Temple. B. Arthur's Moo Moo. I think I saw them at the UCB ones. They sucked. Okay, okay. You know what? We'll put your friend on the list, but we have to keep looking. Now, I want someone in the chair that's going to... Bring listeners. Download stats are up. We've got a decent amount of positive reviews on iTunes. People are listening. I know, but we need to push the show. We need to get it on a bigger scale. Ronnie could show her breasts. Yeah, because nothing sells the listening experience of a podcast like female nudity. Doesn't hurt Stern's ratings. Thankfully, we're not him. I like Stern. Sometimes I want to make you cry. Through pain? You're cute when you play mad. Guys, seriously, we can be better. We've got two days, and... <sighs> Cal? Huh? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Donna left me. Oh. Crap. No, it was just an eight-month thing, but still, I'm pretty messed up about it. <sighs> was it love? I, I don't know. I, I, I felt something. And she did this on Thursday? Yeah. That explains all the unanswered calls this week. Uh, I just drew the blinds, opened the liquor, and cranked the tunes. Costello? Phil Collins. Whoa. Yeah. You're dropping the needle on Collins? Yeah, th this must be love. Well, maybe... That does it. His head's not gonna be in the game this week. We're screwed. Yep. We need somebody who's gonna get him out of this against all odds headspace. Yep. Somebody who can get his attention, get him to focus. Yep. And not your improv buddy. No, we need somebody bigger. Like a fat person bigger? I'm kidding. Look, you know who we need to get. I do. We need to bring in Mark. Oh my god, Mark! Yes, Mark! I, I, I apologize for the glaring thing earlier. Yes! Hey, you know who we should get in the guest chair for this week? Mark? Yeah. 
You guys are horrible whisperers. So the um, the taxi cab thing, that's almost done now? Yeah, we just have a couple of weeks of filming, then we edit, then it's on the website. <laughs> that stuff you did about living on the plane, I always send those links to people. Oh, thank you, that's very nice. I'm a nice girl. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, um, think you'd want to come on the show, maybe uh, promote what you've got going? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, in maybe two or three weeks I'll have something. No, I, I mean this week, uh, no, Friday. Oh. <laughs> no, look, I know it's super short notice, but it's just that a lot of things have been going on, and uh, I mean, if you could, we would just... Donna left him. She left him, and we had somebody drop out, and he's been stressed about getting the show to the next level. So we talked it over, and you not only bring an increased amount of listeners, but you also brighten up Mr. Cheery Pants over here. I can just leave if you'd like to talk like I'm not here. No, 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 we can just pretend that you're not here. Do I really bring in listeners? Yes! We need you to give us the assist. You post on your site that you're gonna be on our show and hit up the Twitter and the Facebook, and yeah, we all make out. I don't know how my wife would feel about us making out, but I'm for it. Let's cool! Do it. So, Friday, usual time? Friday, mutual time. See? I bypass all the hemming and hawing you do and get right to it. You're sulking. Because I got us a great guest. You're sulking. You guys gonna come into the bar after your gig? Uh, we'll be Lower West Side, so... Uh, I don't know. It's a bit of a hike. We'll probably play our set, grab a beer, go home. That's cool. I'm on top of So I'll see you either way. Why do you work such crappy shifts? You've been there for two years. I can't work days, sweetie. Because of the podcast? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't... I don't get it, this whole podcasting thing. You record a talk show that nobody listens to. People listen. We have listeners. You didn't start bringing in cash overnight, did you? No. But we built up a fan base. Exactly, so we're doing the same. But with a band, you build up a fan base, you get the record contract, then you get the album and go on tour. Then you get the cash. Where's the money in podcasting? I make my money at the bar. My chips, good tips. Yeah, but I hardly see you. So come in tonight and see me. Look, if Cal sees something in this, then there's got to be something. Cal's a nice guy, but do you really think that this thing's going to pay bills? How long have you guys been playing? Four years. We've been at it for under a year, so cut us a break. I'm just trying to... I know what you're saying. I What I'm saying is have some patience. All right. Hello? Donna called my wife today. She wanted to talk to somebody about the breakup, about uh, what happened. Why'd she call your wife? Uh, they did a play together. Uh, she knows Cal. Right, right. Go on. Donna said Cal... Um... What? What was Cal doing? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if this is going to make you uncomfortable on our show, let's resolve it. Let's get it taken care of so you can go full funny on us. Okay. Donna said Cal um, was spending an awful amount of time on the internet. 
Not so much the eBay, but, um... You talking about porn sites? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to straighten it out with Cal. Don't worry about it. It's done. I need you to be on for the show. I want you to be able to sit across from Cal tomorrow without thinking about him sitting in front of his computer looking at stuff. Pantless. I made that kind of impossible now. I'm not perfect. Don't tell him I told you. I'm not 11 years old, dude. I'm gonna tell him your wife told me. What? Kidding, joke. You just be ready for the show, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey. Hey. Just going over the final draft of the play here. Which, someday I will finish, and may or may not put up. Or may. Or not. It's anyone's guess at this point. Uh-huh. Wanted to ask you a question. Shoot. Why Donna leave you? She said our relationship had run aground. She used those words? Yep. She's like a ship captain. She always did love the sea. Why are you lying to me? What? We know each other too well, and I know that you're lying. I... No... I'm not. I'm not. Look, you're the guy who finally got me to see that my ex was a controlling idiot. And you're the guy who got me to speak to my sister again, even after she'd written me off. You got me my job at the bar, took me to the club where I met Tommy, and you're the guy who brought me in on this crazy idea to do a podcast that could be a total bust, but you want to know something? I'm having the time of my life doing it, and it's because of you. That's the impact that you've had on me in my life. So I'm going to ask you again, Cal. Why are you lying to me? I started going to the websites again. A lot. And she found out. And she left me. I don't understand you. You have all this talent, all this potential, and you screw it up with stupid actions. I wish I could understand it. I really do. You're addicted to this stuff. You know that, right? Yeah, I am, and I do know. Okay. The way I see it, you've got two options. You stop going to the sites on your own. You just do it. And the second option? You get something for your computer, something that stops you from going to the sites, but you do something, otherwise, I'm off the show. Ronnie, come on. Cal? I just, I'm going to stop going to the sites, but I don't need Cal, to... Cal, what is more important? All right. I do tomorrow's show, and then I'm gone.
Welcome to Bring It Up, the podcast that begs the eternal question, what the hell is the white part of an Oreo made out of? I'm going to say magical pixie phlegm. Mm. Right <laughs> out of the gate, people. Ronnie mentions phlegm. Uh, she does that. You're guaranteed a good show. Indeed. The guest today here on the podcast is a favorite of the podcast. He's uh, he's inventive. He is creative. He is, oh, what's the um, word I'm looking for? Cuddly. Uh, no. No. Handsome. Uh, uh, no. 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 I'm dashing. I'm called dashing a lot. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what it is? He's wanted. He's a wanted man uh, in five states, I believe. That's, That's what I was looking true. for. And you know, the thing about fighting hobos is that it's always going to get back to you. Yeah, man. You can't just, like, fight hobos and not think you're going to leave some sort of trail. Usually it's a trail of empty cans of beans. Or mm. those sticks that the kerchiefs tied to the end. There are dozens of those all over the country with your prints on yes. them. Yes. And if OJ taught us anything, it's always wear gloves. Did he? Did he really? Yes. I'm gonna say no. Yes. Yes. No, he didn't. Well, in either case, uh, there you go. The no. great hobo beating confession. <laughs> yes. Of seventy three. Of seventy three. <laughs> Thanks again for coming in at such short notice and helping us out. Oh sure, it was a lot of fun. Mark, just give me a few minutes and I'll have the MP3 of the show loaded up. Okay. Well, today was awesome, and it sucks that I'm not going to be around for your next appearance. You won't. Ronnie, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm leaving the show. You what? Leaving. She's not leaving the show. I'm giving up day shifts at the bar, and I really need to start bringing in some You don't need cat. day shifts at the bar. Oh, no? Then why, pray tell, would I be leaving the show? You can email me that MP3, right? Yeah, sure. So, I'm going to go now. I'll go. No, you stay. You come. I love it when Cal gets all Tarzan with his communication skills. So he's Tarzan, she's Jane. Does that make you Cheetah? Why would you name a chimpanzee Cheetah? That's a good question. There's no logic behind it. You know, I know you, Cal. I know you've made your choice, so I'm gone. I'm sure my replacement will be a joy, and the beauty is, whoever you get in here won't care about you as much as I do, so you can keep going to your little websites and getting Shut your... the hell up. Excuse me? Please, shut up. God, you yammer on and on. Just shut it. If you leave the show, there is no show. Do you understand? There is no show. Yes, you've said that. No, you're not... What I'm trying to say is that this isn't just about you. <laughs> and it's not about me. It's about all of us. You and me and Owen. Well, less Owen than you and me. Cal, if you've got a point, please get to it, because I've got to get my resume online pronto. This thing. It uh, um, helps me say the things uh, that I'm not able to say in the moment, much like this one. But at the same time, it chains me to um, a part of me that I don't want. Then let it go. And if it were that easy, I would have done it a long time ago. But I think I've made it pretty clear that it's not something that I can do alone. What's this? A uh, receipt for software I bought. I need you to get it started. I've um, written down keywords that you can enter. That'll help Hold you on. Avoid. You wrote down words? Yes. This is going to be hard for me to look you in the eye after it's done, so just... I need you. I need your help. You're not going to confess some sort of deep-seated love for me, are you? No. No. God, you're like a sister. So that time I full-on kissed you when you were recovering in sick bay from a snow monster attack and nearly freezing to death, you didn't feel... anything? 
See, any other girl makes an Empire Strikes Back reference, I'm all over it. You do it? Nothing. You're good. Just, um, tell me when you're done. Okay. Cal. You don't even know how much I believe in you. Just keep sending them emails every couple weeks. Oh, I plan on it. What's up? Every once in a while, I'll get what I like to call a crazy idea. And then I like to do what I call following through. Okay. So, I've been thinking about our audience. The audience that we cater to doesn't know where to look for us. And since we provide food for thought for so many nerds and geeks all over the world, where's the best place to look for them? Boom. What's that? I've been going to nerd meccas on the interweb and asking them to review our show. You did that? Huh. I like it. I'm sure they get emails like this all the time. Look, I hate to be that guy, but we should be realistic about this. Yeah, and we also need to try everything, right? <laughs> Eventually, something's going to stick to the wall. But, as long as you're not comparing the podcast to crap, I could uh, potentially be behind this idea. It is a good idea, Cal. Yeah. Uh, go for it. See what happens. So are you leaving or not? No, you're stuck with me. Okay. Cool. So that Ferris wheel thing, that was really Brian Denny? Yes, it was Brian Denny. He, he was actually very nice. So you're into chicks who dress like Eskimos. What? No, that's not... <sighs> Come on. You know I gotta bust your chops till you get over this. Yeah, yeah. Well, we better start planning next week's show. You know, I should split. Well, not if you don't want to. We could uh, always use an extra brain around here. Owens only works at half capacity anyway. She's lying. It's probably less than that. I don't know. I'm really not very good with the math. Ooh, then I can stay. Great. Let's get to work.